Hey Sun Devil fans, Sandy Charles here with DevilsDigest.com and I'm joined by our publisher, Hoder Vino. We are continuing our coverage of the 2018 season, talking about ASU's first road game of the year this Saturday at San Diego State University. So Hode, last week, ASU takes down Michigan State, but they still have a top 25 opponent waiting for them next week in Washington. Why, in your opinion, is this matchup against San Diego State not a trap game? I really feel, Sandy, that there's a lot of elements that actually work in ASU's favor for this not to be a trap game. Uh, first and foremost, and I think it might be the biggest storyline uh, of the week leading up to this contest, is the fact that Danny Gonzalez, uh, San Diego State's defensive coordinator last year and uh, cornerbacks coach uh, Tony White, uh, are both now at Arizona State. And now you just talk about the huge chess match that, that that's, that, that's going to go. Uh, how, how much are you going to really change uh, your, your scheme because you're facing such a familiar opponent that knows you as well as, as as you know them so I just feel that uh, the coaching staff not only on defense but really also on offense too are just extremely focused uh, for this game just because of that element but there's definitely some other elements that I, re that I really feel come into play first of all this is a revenge game on this stadium uh, behind us uh, just about a year ago uh, San Diego State really embarrassed Arizona State and uh, I don't think uh, that uh, you can really even think about taking lightly uh, su uh, su such an opponent so uh, that is uh, definitely one factor that uh, that comes into play I think also the team culture that Herm Edwards is really establishing over here and the uh, humble and hungry uh, which you're probably going to see on t-shirts uh, pretty soon there's already signs in the locker room uh, saying that too when you have that mentality and just drilling uh, that into the player 24-7 uh, I think that really just uh, prevents you from even having thoughts about being a trap game and being an opponent that you can overlook uh, in like in San Diego State's example and also I also feel that um, and I might be in the minority but I don't know if really a trap game can be a road game especially uh, we're talking about the first road game of the season uh, uh, so many uh, young, inexperienced uh, players are also key players for Arizona State. And how do they handle the rigors of the road? I think that um, being uh, taken out of your comfort zone, it's really hard to overlook an opponent, even though uh, you're, you're, you're favored to beat them and you might have better athletes than them and whatnot. So I think with all those elements in play, I really don't know if uh, Arizona State can even afford uh, themselves to look, to look at uh, this as a trap game. And I really don't think, uh, just listening to the coaches and the players all week, that even uh, taking San Diego State lightly uh, by, by any means. So uh, I, I feel that this really is not viewed uh, as a trap game by any means by the Sun Devils. Now looking at San Diego State's offense, they took a huge blow last week in losing quarterback uh, Christian Chapman, and he's sidelined for three to six weeks. With that being said, how do you think ASU's defense will approach this game? Well, I mean, they have a quarterback in, in, in Ryan Agnew, who uh, Danny Gonzalez, the defensive coordinator, just a few minutes ago uh, talked about uh, how, how much of a mobile quarterback he is, and maybe that's a different challenge than they would see uh, with, with Chapman. Maybe something that would really be similar to Brian Lewicki, uh last week with, with Michigan State, uh, because his mobility definitely did give ASU at, at some uh, points of the game to give him fits. So maybe um, facing a quarterback like Lewerke actually helps him better facing a quarterback like Agnew compared to maybe facing a guy like Chapman if, if, if he were to be healthy. Uh, Agnew uh, is going to actually uh, start for the very first time against Arizona State, but he did play, uh, I would say, almost a good three quarters uh, last week when uh, San Diego State uh, beat Sacramento State. Now, it wasn't uh, a really great um, showing for um, for him, if you want to be honest about it. He had, he had two, intercepts, uh, two interceptions, uh, passed for less than 200 yards. So, uh, you know, maybe... Uh, you wonder like how much that will carry over to uh, you know to the, this week's game or not, but uh, to me the much more of a challenge, a much more of a concern for the Arizona State, uh, Arizona State defense has to be Joanna uh, Washington. Uh, maybe a lot of ASU fans were happy that Rashad Penny is not going to play this year. Well, guess what? Joanne Washington rushed for 113 yards just two weeks ago against Stanford, has 341 uh, yards total of rushing so far, top top five in the country overall. So uh, Arizona State, much like uh, they, uh, they played against Michigan State, is really going to have to make sure that, that, that they do stop the run and uh, really force a, a guy like Agnew to, to beat them with their arm. And I don't think he's as talented as a guy like Brian Lewicki, uh passing the ball. But if Arizona State uh, can, uh, can achieve that, I, I think uh, that, that would really go a long way. Now again, we can talk about this a thousand times more and probably not overstate the point. San Diego State knows what Arizona State's bringing and Arizona State knows what San Diego State is bringing. So how much uh, do, do those uh, cancel, cancel out each other who has really the advantage over here? Uh, that, that really re remains to be seen. Um, even though Danny Gonzalez said he's not planning any um, exotic formations or anything like that because we really don't want to get out of your own comfort zone, especially when you played so well the first two weeks. I got to think he's throwing something special over there, especially uh, against Jamon Washington because if the running game for San Diego State uh, really gets going often and early, uh, it could be a long day for the Sun Devils.
Now, ASU's offense against Michigan State struggled to get the running game, but the passing game was able to step up and throw 380 yards. Do you see the same situation happening against San Diego State? I think to some extent I do. Uh, even though they are going to miss uh, their uh, one, one of their b best defensive linemen, Noble Hull, uh, he uh, was uh, the leader in tackles for loss last year. And not having him, I think, should take some kind of toll on, um, on San Diego State's uh, run defense. But look, this is a very, very good unit. And, and it's, it's great that Arizona State, uh, you know, has, has a number one run defense in the country. And I know they're, they're uh, you know, that's a feather in their cap. But San Diego State uh, is, uh, can, can, really can't be too far behind. Bryce Love from Stanford was held to 29 net rushing yards. And I don't have to tell you, uh, you know, uh, how many nightmares uh, ASU uh, fans have about Bryce Love and what he did to Arizona State uh, last year. So, so just the fact to see what uh, San Diego State was able to do to uh, a caliber running back like that just two weeks ago uh, really can make you sleep uh, that well at night. So, yes, I mean, to your point, I think uh, this game, uh, from an offensive standpoint, very well could be like Michigan State, where Arizona State sure is going to try to run the ball, but I don't think they're really going to be too stubborn about that because they feel that uh, the weak link of this uh, San Diego State uh, defense is, is their secondary. And if you pass for 380 yards on a Big Ten defense like Michigan State, I don't know why you shouldn't have the same rate of success, more or less, against a team like, uh, against a team like, like San Diego State. So uh, I think it's going to be, uh, you know, m maybe really more of the same for Arizona State. But, they, you know, they, they do feel very comfortable, obviously, based on last week, uh, doing, uh, doing that two weeks in a row. I would feel that uh, it wouldn't really take um, ASU out of their element or anything like that. At the end of the day, you have to take what the defense is giving you, and I just don't see the San Diego State defense really giving ASU that many opportunities to establish a ground attack. But you have Manny Wilkins, you have Nikhil Harry, you have, you have Kyle Williams, and against that caliber of secondary, I don't see why all three of those guys and other wide receivers for that matter could, uh, could not have a better day. Now we mentioned earlier, first road game for ASU, but they're coming off a huge win. Lots of confidence going into this contest. Do you think the Sun Devils can pull out a win? Yeah, I think that uh, the, those two injuries that I mentioned, Chris, Christian Chapman, the quarterback uh, for San Diego State, Noble Hull, the defensive tackle uh, for the Aztecs, uh, those to me are, are injuries that's going to be really hard for the, for the, for the Aztecs to overcome. Um, again, I, I'm definitely recognizing their, their, their strong running game and also recognize their, their strong run defense. But I, I, I just feel at the end of the day, if it comes to the passing games of, of both teams, I just feel that Arizona State has a clear and cut advantage uh, over, over San Diego State. I can see a game where, again, much like Michigan State, you know, maybe the offense offense does uh, start out uh, somewhat slow and, and, and really hits their groove in the second half. And, uh, but, but also a defense that, you know, if they can stifle the run and really don't let Javon Washington uh, go off like he did the last couple of weeks, uh, I think uh, if you can put the onus um, on, on the passing game, again, it worked pretty well against Michigan State. And I don't see why, if that approach uh, were to uh, come true uh, this Saturday, that it wouldn't work well against San Diego State. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not expecting, you know, an extremely, uh, you know, uh, uncontested game or any. Or anything like that. I think Arizona State actually just might, out, might start out a little slow on offense until they figure things out. And like I said, great chess match between both coaching staff who, knew, who know each other so well. But I see Arizona State uh, coming on top 34-17. to 17. Awesome. Thank you so much, Hode. Keep it locked in at devilsdigest.com for all of your in-game and post-game coverage this weekend and, of course, throughout the entire 2018 season. For Hode Urbino, I'm Sandy Charles. We will see you Saturday.